Well, time for something a little different today. I thought I'd take you out on a little bit of an adventure here in Virtual Towers Online. Hi, everyone. Good to have you here. We are at Elton Towers in the United Kingdom right now, except this is actually a game, but it is a photorealistic experience, I should say, that lets you go to a real-life theme park. Right there, you're about to see the Oblivion Drop, which is a steel dive coaster, which is the world's first dive coaster built in 1998. We're going to go on a couple of rides here today and explore the park of uh, this wonderful exploration experience and it's going to be a ton of fun. So if you want to uh, see more of this, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and let me know that you want to see more of Virtual Towers Online, which will soon be a game that is available, uh, I guess, on their Facebook page now. But uh, go ahead and Google it if you want to go ahead and get into this action yourself. We're going to go ahead and start the game and see what she has to offer. Just keep in mind it's still under development, and the developers must live near this place because it is super realistic in terms of photos and sound. It really gets you into it. This makes me also want to buy like a VR headset or something like that and play this in real life all right check this out for those of you who uh, live in the uk or have ever been to elton towers before i think this is going to be all too real for you because this is extremely realistic looking at least and i really like this this is a nice experience for vr i like that very very highly detailed i like that well here's the uh, x sector uh part of the park where we can go over and uh, ride on some rides here here we see the smiler i think which uh is uh Let's see. Oh, wow. The world record holder of 14 different loops, all the different ride time, and apparently one happy customer with that young lady there. Oh, wow. 85 kilometers an hour, and the uh, highest drop is 30 meters. Now, from what I understand of this park is that they're not allowed to build above the tree line uh, for uh, whatever sort of uh, county or district uh, regulations. So a lot of this park is uh, basically built almost underground or low to the ground, so there's a lot of twists and turns for a lot of these uh uh, park rides and really what I love the most about this is that it really makes me want to experience Planet Coaster for example uh, from first person mode or you know be really great is for just to, just to hang out with friends in VR come here with you know fake money and just stand in line at the chicken joint I know it sounds boring but it would be really cool to actually sit down with your friends and you know chat here for a while then go on a ride just as you would in real life it sounds weird doesn't it but it actually might be the future oh wait a minute we're about to see another coaster go down Ah, very good. We're about to see this thing. Let's get down here and uh, watch it drop. The Oblivion's about to go down into this uh, dark, dank tube. Look at that. So this is really one thing I think the developers have got right about this, is it sounds beautiful. One of the things that is the most immersive to me in any sort of game or experience is uh, the actual sound effects. So whether it's a car revving up or a machine gun or machinery, uh, in this case you can actually hear all the squeaking and creaking of the uh, tires and wheels and steel support beams as rides are running. Look at that go. Oh, look at that. The, the smoke actually puffs out like that. Wow, and it goes right down into the tube. Well, that's really cool. Now, I've never been here before, but I think this is a fantastic marketing opportunity for any sort of company uh, to say, hey, come check out our rides, our roller coasters. I've never been to Elton uh, Towers. I've never even heard of it, but now I definitely want to go on this thing for sure. We're going to go on some of the rides here today. Uh, oh, wow, even walkers are in here. This would be amazing for Planet Coaster to actually uh, you know, do something like this, to have a one-on-one -on -one experience where you can go down to the park as an individual guest. Look at the high, the high level of detail. This is just wonderful. Now I'm wondering if the uh, developers of this actually went out and measured the walls. Took uh, They probably took thousands and hundreds of thousands of photos just to get everything uh, right. And I'm sure some people will argue this is not realistic. It's not, you know, uh, this is not a game, that type of thing. But it is an experience, I would say. And it's uh, definitely a good one that I'm enjoying so far. I love those sounds. I love that. I love that so much. So let's walk over here. I think the queue for this uh, ride is actually supposed to go through that building. But we're going to go on this first, the Oblivion, and we can actually ride on this stuff. And, uh, man, is that, that's just really highly detailed. It is one thing to design your own park in a video game. It is another thing uh, to have to replicate it in real life. And look at this. Don't look down. The lockers are all here. Here's the station. There's our ride. We better uh, catch this first one, then. I think we can hop on this thing. Let me try and see. Oh, there we go. All right, we're in the seat now. We're about ready to launch. I can't look around for whatever reason, but I must say that um, it just it just feels right. The, the feel is different than the, than, than the actual, uh, I guess, just playing it. It feels right. I don't know if we can uh, switch seats or not. Maybe we should go to that other one. Let's see if we can... Uh, Oh, I see. We can change camera views to the other rides. All right, we'll, we'll switch to this one then to skip the lift section. So from what I understand, I did a little reading on the park, and uh, I did a little reading about what people thought about the... Uh, oh, this is actually coming back into the station. Oh, wow. You can actually see this one go up the lift. I guess we have to sit in this one because each camera is different. But from what I understand uh, from people who have played this, I read a couple of reviews, and people said that this was exactly 
uh, accurate to how it is. And as I mentioned, that uh, a lot of these roller coasters have to be below or on the tree line because uh, there's local regulations that require them to do so. So a lot of these coasters are high speed, kind of low to the ground with loops. So I guess we're about to see how this uh, how this one stacks up. For, for any of you who, who are in the UK or have been to Elton Towers, you'll have to let me know how realistic this is, how true the life it is. There's those sounds, man. I love that. I think that's great. And you can see all the sensors and everything on the left side there, emergency boxes and emergency control. There's a camera there to view the guests. Very cool. Stairs look absolutely amazing. Everything here is really nicely done. And the sky looks beautiful. Same with the tree line, too. You can see off in the distance, a lot of the park is not there. I, I uh, have read, I, I've actually seen photos, actually, of the, of the park. And it seems like you can see everything from this coaster. You can pretty much see a majority of the park and all the other rides. All right. Well, here we go. We're going down our first drop. I've never ridden on this thing before, but I must say the pacing is perfect. The anticipation has built. I can see the Smiler over there. We can also go on the, uh, I believe the Enterprise is the name of the other one. And, of course, the sign down here says, don't look down. Not like we have a choice. Ooh, boy, that is cool. Oh, where are we going? Oh, nice. Out the other end of the tunnel there, up around a loop. Oh, wow. Is that it? Oh, <laughs> that was pretty short. Boy, the anticipation of just going uh, down a drop and then back to the station. That's pretty cool. Uh, the, the drop is definitely a build-up, but I would have liked a little bit more to the ride. All right, let's hop off this one, and we'll uh, go somewhere else now. I think we can uh, exit there. There we go. And then uh, where would we leave here? Oh, we'd have to get to the other side. I think the queue might be... Uh, oh, we'll just walk across. Oops. There we go. Perfect. All right, now how do we get out of here? Look at all these cages and everything. This is crazy. Oh, we leave this way. Well, that's really cool. Very realistic. Why are there three lanes here, though? Are you supposed to only take one, or what's the deal? Huh. Wait, other photos? Oh, what is that thing? Oh, thank you for riding Oblivion, it said. Oh, that is so cool. All right, trash cans all around. Definitely what you would see at a park. Everything tucked into every little nook and cranny. Is that maintenance over there? Wow, the, uh, the queue to this thing should have been opposite. Maybe I went in through the exit. That's what it was. Okay. So this is actually the queue in reverse. I was going to say that. That was an awfully short line. But there you go. So this is definitely the, the opposite way. Wow, you really got to snake back and forth through here, don't you? Experts, it's all a question of whether one does or does not. Wow. All right, let's leave out over this way. Ah, so here's the uh, actual entrance to it. Oh, there you go. So there's fast track for single riders. And then... Uh, to just the standard opening with all the rules and regulations. Okay, well, we did that one in reverse, but I was definitely uh, interesting to see it in reverse as fast as that lock uh, as that ride was. Here's lockers. Wow, very realistic layout. That's one thing that they really need in Planet Coasters, the ability to build and do this. Looks like a little carny game here, the challenge, the smiler. I don't think we can actually play that, but uh, that's the typical throw the hooper ball in, into, the, uh, into the thing and win a prize. All right, this is the smiler here. Very nicely detailed, and uh, wow, look at that thing. Love the colors together. The uh, yellow, uh, gray, and uh, black with all the green plants and everything really looks nice. And again, the uh, height restrictions on this thing means that they have to uh, they have to really uh, limit the height here. Oh, it says it's closed. We'll see about that. All right, let's go on this thing next. Woo! Boy, it's getting loud down here. Looks like a... Uh, Cattle ranch down here. Oh yeah, this is about as loud as it gets down here. All right, let's see. Million apologies, unforeseen. Uh, Smiler is not open. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. You can still ride it by pressing L. There we go. Jesus, what is that noise? Is that a countdown? Halfway correct. <laughs> oh wow, this thing actually has a 90 degree climb. We're pretty close to it. It's a shame we can't look around. That's the only thing I want to do now. This thing is getting realistically loud too. It's getting 
this loud in the regular... Oh, wow, look at that. There's nothing to the park. <laughs> it's all just abandoned over on that side. Woo! All right, wow, just continuous loops. I think there's 14 in total here. Oh, man, this thing is incredible. I think this thing actually holds the world record for the most amount of loops as we saw on the sign there. Dude, that was good. That one was good. That was worth the wait. The uh, the Oblivion was kind of just like a down and to the left. It, it just drops you down and, and brings you to the left. But the Smiler actually has something to it. Very nice. All right. They didn't finish the queue here, I think, but at least we can uh, go through all that. All right, we'll quickly get to the exit. But look at that, they've had to detail every single thing in the park, every little uh, fence, and uh, where all the layouts of all the support beams are, the fencing, all the trash cans, all that stuff. We'll go out the way we came, since I don't think there's actually a rendered exit here yet, but it's not too long to get out of here. And there we go. We're doing everything uh, backwards today, I guess. All right, well, let's go on the other ride, which is the... Uh Enterprise. This is really cool. I listen. The, the possibilities of what could happen in future uh, advertising and uh, and marketing and, and just experiences of downloading something for free and walking around is rather interesting. Especially if you could do it in VR, especially with friends. It would be cool if this were an actual online space. Now, what's funny is that people in real games are queuing up in games to join servers and stuff. So I don't know if I'd put it past anyone to actually literally stand in a virtual line and do something like this. Is this no entry? Where is the entrance here exactly? Enterprise, I suppose. You, do you enter on the right or the left? This is the UK, so I don't know. Oh, well, wait. Do we have to loop back around? Oh, let's, well, let's go back this way. Yeah, this seems like the way you want to go. It's just confusing because there's all these different uh, pathways around here. That's weird. This is a dead end. Well, that must. Oh, that's the extension queue if it gets really popular. Gotcha. Okay, I got confused. All right. Well, there she goes. The clouds look beautiful, the sun. This just feels right. This just makes me happy. It's almost like it's a, a game, almost. Well, at least it's a fun experience, I should say. But I'm having a good time. Two riders per car, please. Um, items may be left at uh, owner's risk. Some areas left in the storage area. Wait, what? Where's the storage area? Oh, just down here? You just drop it down there? All right, well, since this thing is running... Oh, wow, they've actually rendered out... Oh, wait a minute, what? Hold on a second. Are we able to control this? Uh... I don't actually see a button to do that. Let, let me go ahead and pause for just a quick second. I just want to check and see if there's anything we can do control-wise. Uh, let's see, quality... Nope, doesn't look like there's anything for us to do in order to control it. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, controls. There we are. Um, let's see if we can take control of something. Movement, keyboard, uh, reset, character view, enterprise, oblivion, look around. Is with the mouse. That's obvious. Oh, it doesn't look like there's an actual button for it. Okay. Well, that was worth a try, at least, to try to control it. I know there are carny games that I've showed on the channel before where you can do that. But, uh, looks like this thing gives you one little loop and that's it, huh? I want to stay in here while this thing is running. Wow, look at it go. The amount of detail of using each little uh, piece of space that they have to put down uh, plants and uh, park benches and garbage cans and stuff. Real estate is uh, definitely a premium in these types of parks, especially with rules where you have to stay below the tree line. And I believe the history of this park is that it was an old manor uh, that uh, eventually uh, was basically made public so people could come and look at the gardens in order to pay for the manor, and then eventually, next thing you know, yeah, now you have yourself a full-fledged theme park here. Yeah, these look about right. How do you fit two people in these things, though? Are these chairs wide enough for two people? Maybe if somebody sits on someone else's lap. Two riders per car. Huh. Well, let's sit inside. All right, we're going to go on this next. It should be up and running soon. Again, I love hearing the mechanics work. I'm definitely big on that. I like the mechanical uh, hydraulics and braking and the, the squeaking of the wheels, all that type of thing. Definitely cool. 
to be able to hear all that. So what are some other rides that are at this park? Uh, I've seen rides such as the Nemesis, the Galactica, and the Runaway Mine Train, which sounds the coolest to me. I, I hope it goes into tunnels and stuff like that. There's Pinball Wizard 13, which is a, uh, I guess it's a, a, a steel family drop. So maybe it's not like a, it's a corkscrew ride, but it's not, or it replaced the corkscrew ride, but it's not something that I could see. I'm just kidding. It's probably just boring. It's a family ride. <laughs> no, probably something like the uh, Rita. Uh, for a launched roller coaster, that's probably the coolest. Is this ride going to go? Come on, boys. Let's fire it up. Oh, let's stand outside again. I don't think there's a button to make it go fast, so we'll just wait until it starts up again before we go on. But yeah, lots of waiting, lots of queuing. That's exactly what you have with an amusement park. I wonder if there's... Uh, there, there's a lot of stuff that they definitely have yet to finish, so... Um, you know, definitely some more planters to put down and grass and different things like that, but really, if this was eight years worth of, worth of work, I think this was worth it to see all this stuff. We'll hop on that as soon as it starts running, but let's walk around a little bit. Really not that big of an area, and I would assume the park is very small too, uh, but a lot of detail, a lot of, like I said, high use of space, and I, I would be surprised actually to see an open area like this. We would imagine to see more uh, park shops and that type of thing, but uh, who's to say? They're probably going to put more things in here as well, especially the inside of the Smiler. Now, I hear that each one of these uh, buildings is more like an experience before the ride, and of course, the point of that is to slow everyone down and uh, make it spend more time, but it is cool to see all the soda machines around here, drinks, garbage cans, vending machines, that type of thing, and it is cool to see all the rides going. I wonder, are sounds that loud? Does it Do things uh, make that much noise when you're actually walking around like that? Absolutely love the rock uh, outline to the gardens. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. And I love all the fencing, too, uh, of both the queues. You can tell kind of where rides begin and where the park kind of is. And I think the outside noises are all uh, from the actual park themselves. I, I think the developers have uh, taken a million photographs and just thousands of hours of recordings of all the machines and all the... Uh, the staff and, and whatnot walking by and, and people. So it makes a good experience here. All right, one last thing I want to go on is the Enterprise. And what is this water thing here? Why is this... Uh... That's interesting. This is for the uh, Oblivion, but it it's weird that it's water. Is there is there any sort of actual pumping going on here? Is it just a reservoir pond to make it look like you're going underwater? Maybe it's maybe it pulls that for the steam or something like that and boils water. I, I don't know. It's probably dried ice, to be honest. All right. Well, I want to go on the Enterprise still to kick off our final ride. I don't think we can actually... Oh, wait a minute. A light came on. Oh, there it goes. I just have to hit the button and we can actually ride it. Well, that's cool. You can kind of have some control over it. Oh, wow. Dude. This is running really well. I believe this is over 60 frames a second, too. So it could be for a VR uh, experience as well. And I'm definitely uh, wanting an excuse to try to buy more uh, VR stuff. Oh, this is nice. Oh, <laughs> I hope you don't get dizzy. Oh, dude. Wow, that's really cool. That's beautiful to look at the park and all the roller coasters running. I love that. That's my favorite. I love this. All right, then she should probably slowly be brought back down now. Probably after one more loop. There it goes. I think it's already starting to tilt back. There she goes. Wow. These things are amazing to see at night, too, running with all the lights on them. I think these things were made in like the 70s or 80s, and uh, they're everywhere. Uh, we have the Enterprise as well in, in the United States, and it's just crazy. Well, rip to your right ear, because that's where all the machinery is. You've done a great job in uh, kind of balancing the sound to where it would be. Wow. All right, well, let's hop out and see this thing come to an end. That thing is really cool. Well, I'm glad to know that we can adjust the uh, controls of some of the roller coasters. I love the sounds. I love the sights. I think this is a nice step forward, and you know, people working on uh, dedicated to projects like this of you know simulating uh, theme parks. 
And I would love to see more of this. I'd love to ne next go to Japan and just walk around and look at stuff and go on rides. I mean, it'd be a 15, 20 minute experience, but I don't see it being anything bad or a waste of time. I mean, you get what you pay for, if even you were asked to pay for this, which I don't, I don't think you would be, unless there's some sort of more game mechanic to it. But it is nice to see everything running. I would love to see more people walking around in a VR experience and just having a good time. This is a ton of fun. This is so Jurassic Park, is it not? This is just Jurassic Park to the nines, I must say. Well, I'm going to have myself some fried chicken. You from the UK who been to Alton uh, Towers, go ahead and let me know. Is it is it very, very realistic? Or are there some? Obviously, there's tons of things missing. But what, what more would you want to see from a VR experience like this? What would you want to see? What, what do you like? What don't you like? Obviously, it's not completed. Far from it. But I'm glad this opens the door for more experiences of just literally just walking around. This could be a nice experience for anybody uh, who's just uh, out and, uh, in the internet wanting to just play something real quick. So, anyway, we're going to go back to the car. I hope it, uh, you all remembered where we parked because I don't. So, anyway, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, folks. And, uh, again, if you want to check this out, I'll leave links down below in the description. And thank you, everyone, for leaving a like for their hard work. This team has done a really nice uh, job bringing Elton Towers to life. I thought this would be mind-numbingly boring, and I actually enjoyed this immensely. It is uh, very realistic from the trees blowing around. and gives me nice thoughts for my own Planet Coaster designs. I think this is fun. This is my, this is my idea of a boring uh, Saturday afternoon uh, in between recordings. I could definitely do something like this, even as somebody who's pretty busy like I am. I liked it. So, anyway, hopefully you did too. Thanks, everyone, for joining. You take care, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good day, and I'll see you all soon enough. Bye. It's like I'm dead now. Look at this. Oh, pretty.